All right guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome to Romley Garage. This is actually the first time I've worked a Sunday shift in a very long time. Nowadays, Sundays are the day that I go out to film car reviews. But my colleagues decided, rather selfishly in my opinion, to take his family away on holiday. Can you believe it? So I've drawn the short straw and I've got to do the Sunday shift. So I thought, because I won't have time this week for a standard car review, I thought I'd do a quick garage review instead. What I'm planning to do then is briefly show you around and talk you through some of the stock we've got in at the moment. We do try and keep our stock varied, so I'm pretty sure there's something here for everyone's taste. Actually, this is probably a good time to tell you, but my online course, I know you've probably heard me talk about this many times, but over the years I've been asked loads and loads of times by countless people for advice to get into the used motor trade. So a couple of years ago I thought, well, hang on a minute, I should create an online course here. That way people can sign up for it and they can learn more about it rather than me trying to reply in a simple message because there's just too much to cover. So I've created this online platform with nearly 100 videos, so you log in and you can watch a video in any particular order. And it covers every single aspect of the used motor trade, such as sourcing cars, funding, branding, preparing cars for sale, insurance, trade plates, everything you could possibly wish to know is on there. Back in January this year, I decided to change the pricing strategy to make it a bit more affordable. So it's now only £27 a month and you can cancel at any time. But I've had an even better idea. I've decided to give it away for free for one month. So for 30 whole days from today, it's totally free. I'll leave the link to the course below in the video description. So check it out for yourself. Right, let me show you around. Well, we might as well start them with this beautiful Jaguar XJ. It's a late 2018 68 reg, three litre diesel. Uh, I was gonna say portfolio, but I think it's an R Sport. It's finished in Italian race red, and it's got the little contrasting black bits on it, like down here. The wheels are beautiful. It's a really nice car, this. We've had a couple of bits of interest on it, but nothing serious. Which amazes me, because I think this is the perfect car. It's good on fuel, it's only done 19,000 miles. It'll do 40 miles per gallon. It's a nice spec, it's got Meridian audio, panoramic roof. No, it's a beautiful car, that. One that I'd use myself. Oh, it is, yeah, it is an R-Sport low battery needs a run in fact I might give that a run perhaps I'll do a video with this I'm not sure I have done a video with an XJ so I never like to double up on videos because I'm not sure what I'd say but perhaps I'll think of something behind it we've got the DB7 that's a V12 Vantage DB7 Volante one owner from new we've got all the receipts for it that, believe it or not, when it was brand new, I think it was something like £130,000 back in 2001. And it's only done 27,000 miles. I think they call it Sky Silver. You even got a free Panama hat. It's a nice old thing, isn't it? I've done a video with this. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've seen that. Again, not had any interest on it at all. And I don't know where you would find another one owner DB7 like that especially the V12 rather than the six cylinder. Beside it, we've got the Bentley Continental GT. This is the, the Mark II version. It's a six litre W12 and it's a Mulliner, which means it's got the beautiful, bigger twin spoke wheels. It's got the soft quilted leather interior. This, I've just put four new tires on it have a guess how much tyres are for a Bentley. Have you guessed? Well, they were £300... Hang on, let me get this right. £300 each. I suppose that's what you get, isn't it, when you run something like this. Again, beautiful car. It's done, this one's done 62,000 miles with full Bentley and Bentley specialist history. Soft closed doors, obviously. Next to it, we've got, actually, look at the size difference between that and the DB7. Makes the DB7 look like a toy car. You forget how big these Bentleys are until you park them beside something, something normal. Beside it is the Jaguar XKR convertible. That's a 2010 five liter supercharged, as it tells you there on the bonnet and on the wheels. And this, I can't quite remember the mileage now, I think it's 60 something. Hmm, I think it's got a flat battery actually. There's another one that needs a run. 
I'm gonna be busy next week, aren't I, driving all these cars? Yeah, lovely car though, that. I'm not sure which one I'd pick out of these three. They all do something slightly different. The Jaguar's probably the most fun. The Aston's probably the most gentlemanly, isn't it? The classiest option. But then, I do love the Continental. Hmm, I don't know, which one would you pick? Let me know below. To be fair, you're not going to be disappointed with any of those, are you? And here is the 640 diesel Grand Coupe. Which, again, we've had a couple of bits of interest on, but it's still here. And that's a lovely car, that. It's somewhat sensible because it has a 3-litre diesel engine, so it's not ridiculous to run. This, if I were a sensible person, this is the kind of car that I should have. I think it's a gorgeous looking car. I like it in silver, just looks really classy. And it's a dream to drive. Which one would you have out of the XJ and the 6 Series? I'd be over the moon with both. But I th think uh, it's sort of a heart or head decision, isn't it? I think I'd go with the Jag. In fact, I know I'd go with the Jag. Right, well, that's the showroom then. This morning there was a Ford Focus ST part there, but it's just sold. Right, let me take you outside then onto the forecourt. So out here, as you can see, we've got lots of different stock. Something for all budgets, really. I've done a video with this. This is a 320 diesel Shadow Edition. Could do with a clean, actually. We've got the Nissan Juke Nismo RS. Wow, look at that. It is quite a rare car, this actually joking apart. It's automatic. Now, those gearboxes always fail unless you get them serviced, which we have. But look at the bucket seats and stuff. I'm not a fan of the Duke, as you well know, but this is a bit of an odd thing. Even more odd than the normal version. Next to it, we've got a petrol Audi A3. It's an S-Line, so it's got quite a nice spec. Half leather, manual gearbox. This is very similar to the thing that I rented recently in Spain. There we've got an Impact Blue, I think it's called, Ford Focus. Oh, we've got two of these actually. This one's a manual one. This one's a 2017 manual. We've also got 2016 automatic. They're decent cars really, apart from the weather strips around the doors that always seem to fall off. Uh, no, this one's intact. It's a rarity. Next up there we've got the Citroen Berlingo Multispace, which is basically a, a van with seats in. Not a big fan, but they always sell really well because they're just, they're very practical. It's not very refined because it's like a van, but you can fit all sorts of these. What's that? That is a, is it a Grandland or a Crossland? I forget. They all look the same to me. It's a Vauxhall SUV of some description. Grandland X, there you go. Nice colour, actually. This is automatic, low mileage. Again, nice spec. Here we've got a Volvo V40 cross country. I've had this for ages. I've had loads of interest on it. And then either people have been declined finance or they've not been happy with the condition of it. And I think it's very nice. I keep meaning to do a video with this, but never get around to it. Again, it's bright red, but it's got the black bits, which just break it up. And I don't know whether someone's chipped this car up, but it's properly quick. I couldn't believe how quick it was. It's only a two litre diesel, but it's just it's rapid. And I wasn't expecting it to be. It's a six speed manual, but I do like Volvo interiors of this sort of era. Just nice and elegant, aren't they? And, Quite a good looking car, with its roof rails and its slightly raised stance. Here we've got an E-Class E220 diesel estate, which is just sold this morning actually. 
I thought this was great value. It's a good looking car, it's the newer shape. It's done 104,000 miles, which I guess made it great value. That was 11 grand or 11 and a half grand. But nice car really. And if you look after it, plenty of life left in it. Nice interior. Cash guy. Oh, that's good actually. I need to do a video with this. A Volvo XC60. And I really rate these. I think they're great cars. I prefer it, much prefer it to the XC90. It's automatic. It's a nice, nice interior, nice spec interior. And they drive really well. In fact, I'll do a video with this. Do they call it the R design? I'm not, not quite sure. Can't remember. Yeah, R design, there you go. That one's done 85,000 miles. It's a 2017, late 2017, which again makes it good value, really. Over here we've got an SLK. I did a video with this actually. This is one where the roof wouldn't work and all it needed was a little switch, which I had replaced for about 100 quid. I thought this would have sold by now, to be honest. It's only done 89,000 miles. I thought it was just a cheap summer car for somebody, but it hasn't. I ordered a new grill for it off eBay, but the, one that, the grill that came was broken. So as I tried to fit it, I realised the brackets were broken. Let's go to Fabia there. Done 31,000 miles. Again, nice clean car, quite boring, but there are lots of people out there that just want a car, and this is a car. Little Kia Picanto, they always sell well. Mazda 6 Estate. Now, when that was offered to me, I thought it was a diesel. So I instantly declined it because that 2.2 Skyactiv diesel is terrible. But it's petrol, which is why it's here. Oh, it's locked. But yeah, decent looking car, aren't they? And the petrols are quite reliable. Well, very reliable. The, the diesels aren't. Suzuki Celeriac. Again, this is a car for people that just need transport. Nothing wrong with it. It'll run for years, but nothing too exciting either. Somebody keeps asking me to do a video with it, so I might do. Mercedes A-Class. For any young marijuana enthusiasts. This is automatic, done 36,000 miles. The interiors are nice on these, aren't they? Over here, we've got, I bet you haven't seen one of these before. It's a Nissan L Grand camper van, converted camper van. So the roof pops up, so you can stand up. And it's got a little kitchenette in there. This will be locked. This one sold yesterday, actually. That's a 3.5 litre V6. I think it's a Renault engine. You know, Nissan Renault engine. I think it's the same engine they use in the Murano, I'm not sure. Here, by the way, we took this in parts exchange. This is possibly one of the nicest Freelander 2s we've ever had. It's done 90,000 miles, so I wasn't expecting it to be mint, and it really is. It's an HSE, so it's top spec. And the condition is absolutely immaculate. There's no wear on the, on the leather seats. It's got full service history. It's just a really nice car. And I genuinely rate these cars. I think they're good. The Freelander 1, if you've seen the video that I did recently, I think are absolute garbage. The Freelander 2, very good. And it's finished in, is it Stornoway grey? Good colour. Over here, we've got this Jaguar XJ8, which I've had for about six months. I've spent fortunes on it. Could do the wash, but it's now finally ready. It had a wiring issue, so I tried to get it through an MOT and it failed because the, the headlamps just kept flickering on for some reason. Obviously, I didn't know that they, they were until somebody flagged me down and told me. So it's had a new uh, switch, new light switch. That was done over at Elite Jaguar in, um, in Stockport, Didsbury area, who were very good and I would 
recommend them. We've also had a new headlining done because the old one was sagging. That was about 500 pounds. It's a trouble. Every single bill that I've had on this car has been five or 600 quid. There we've got the Toyota Auris Hybrid. Now these, I know they're a bit boring, but they're great cars, these. Very reliable, zero road tax, 55 miles per gallon. Can't go wrong, really. Next trip, we've got a little Fiat 500. This one's automatic, but unfortunately it's semi-auto as they all are, which isn't a great gearbox, to be honest. They should have fitted it with a proper full auto, but they didn't. But nice little car. Just really cool, aren't they, the 500? Over here, this is something interesting. We've got a VW Transporter. It's locked. VW Transporter, which has been converted by ALX into a day van. So the roof pops up. And inside, I don't know if you can see this, there's a kitchenette, a rock and roll bed. It's a cool thing, this, and it's only done 700 miles. It's like new. It's only, it's not even a year old. I put some black, uh, black alloys on it because it had steel wheels, which I didn't think looked very good. And then, what else can I show you? Oh, that's an Audi TT we sold recently. Look at the wheels, by the way. When we got this in, into stock, the wheels were painted badly all in one colour. So we've had them refurbished and I think they've done a great job. I love that, I think they call it a rotor, rotor, rotor style wheel. We've got some more cars parked over here. We've got a Ford Focus there in the corner, Kia Proceed. They always sell well. New shape Corsa next to it, that's just sold. Oh, there's Lazzy Guff. Hey up, Lazzy. My SC430, that's finally ready. It's had a new battery. I've spent about, I don't know. Can't remember, I don't want to talk about it. 1,500 quid maybe, if I, it's not too bad if I say it quickly. Say it, Ibiza next to it. That's had 1,200 pounds spent on it recently. Needed loads of bits, brakes, disc, uh, brake discs, brake pads, tires. Next to that is another V40. That isn't the cross country, that's just the standard. That's automatic. Again, I think that's a good looking car. And there is the other impact blue Ford Focus and a brown Vauxhall Zafira. Well, I think that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the little tour. Thanks once again for watching. Make sure you check out the course, by the way, which is free, like I say, for 30 days. And yeah, see you next time. Cheers, guys.